Mayberry. Just saying the name immediately conjures images of the ideal hometown, of a simple life with good friends and relatively little stress. Unfortunately, most of us realize that Mayberry is more of an ideal than a reality. And while it doesn't really exist in the real world, it is something that we aspire to. And that, my friends, I truly believe is a good thing. For fans of The Andy Griffith Show, that sense of hope and optimism is one of the reasons that the program has remained very popular throughout the years, and it is for that very reason that it is truly interesting to learn about a few of the darker secrets that lurked behind that black and white mirage of happy endings that Mayberry promised viewers they would receive in 30 minutes or less. So without any further delay, here are five of Mayberry's deepest and darkest secrets that I pulled from the book Andy and Don, The Making of a Friendship and a Classic American TV Show by author Daniel Device. Like so many of us, Griffith's youth wasn't picture perfect. In fact, he had a rather awkward childhood. There were times when he was teased by others and despite the fame that he acquired later on in life, it was said that he always felt like he was looked down upon because of his wrong side of the track's roots, whatever that meant. I suspect much of that was in Andy's head. It's really hard to imagine folks looking down on such a beloved actor. And the actor who played his trusted deputy, Barney Fife, on the show, Don Knotts, well, he was equally troubled. Yep, life was pretty darn tough for Knotts, who grew up in poverty in Morgantown, West Virginia, and was the son of an alcoholic who was disabled by mental illness, and sometimes it was reported held a knife to his own son's throat. Folks, I just can't imagine how difficult that was for Don Knotts. Your family and your home should be a sanctuary, a haven, a place where you can escape all of the stressful situations that real life puts in front of us. Unfortunately for Don, it was not. Getting back to Andy, while on the Andy Griffith show, Sheriff Taylor was a widower, Andy Griffith was very much a married man. Unfortunately, his 23-year marriage to Barbara Edwards unraveled during the early 70s, according to her, in a storm of alcohol and domestic violence. And even before that, there were rumors of Andy's infidelity while on the Andy Griffith Show set. I'm not going to go into the details here because end of the day, I'm quite certain mistakes were made by both Andy and Barbara. Now, with that said, I've got to acknowledge that 23 years is a long time for anyone to be married, so both of them must have been doing something right. I think the saddest of all the revelations in the book is that Jim Neighbors and Ron Howard were the only actors that actually got along with actress Frances Bobbier, who played Aunt B. Yep, it turns out she really wasn't much like the warm and loving character that she portrayed on the show. After her death, it's reported that none of the cast members from the Andy Griffith show even bothered to attend her funeral. How sad is that? I do know that Andy did reach out to Frances prior to her passing, and the two of them were able to finally reconcile their differences. Speaking of funerals, I've always found it interesting that Andy Griffith was buried only hours after his sudden death from a heart attack. According to reports, family and friends did not waste any time burying Andy because he was adamant that he didn't want paparazzi to photograph his funeral. I guess I kind of understand that. Your last rites should be something of a private affair and not a media circus. So there you go, five dark secrets from the Andy Griffith Show as revealed in the book Andy and Don by author Daniel Device. All right, now it's your turn. Please share your memories in the comments section. And while you're at it, I'd love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I would be absolutely honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and TV, mostly from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, Thank you so much for watching.